Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to our channel. We always seem to start our videos in the car. I'm not sure why, but we're on our way to Andy's sister's house right now um, to have dinner. And I figured that we would start the vlog here, right? Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> but anyways, I have like a bunch of stuff I just got in the mail from Revolve and I want to show you guys a little haul. So maybe I'll do that when I get back or tomorrow at some point, but I also have like three dresses I need to try on for Rachel's wedding. So I'm gonna do that, give you a revolve haul, but for now we are going to eat dinner. It is Tuesday? It's Wednesday, it's not Tuesday. Is it, is it Wednesday? Mm -hmm. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday and we're starting the new weekly vlog. The Suns play again tonight, baby. We'll, we'll... What is that? The mayoral. Ooh, waffle maker. We have all these pans, Andy. It's our set. into helping them move. This is funny. Food for <clears throat> moving. Food for labor. Of course we're gonna help them move though. Because we're so nice. Guys, we got these June shines that Haley's had. I heard of these, I think on the Skinny Confidential. And I've been wanting to try them. I didn't know that we have them in Arizona now, but this is acai. And it literally tastes just like kombucha. It's good. I got this nice new brand. Miller Latte. And it's got a nice Miller Lite, it's gonna crush the drink and go to bed. Alright, we just got back home and Haley and David gave us all of this wine. Since they're moving into their new house, they don't want to bring it with them, I guess. And now we have wine for probably the next like two months because me and Andy don't drink. Two months? Yeah. For like a year. Oh, yeah. Two months, is that not a long time? We go through like a bottle in a month. Yeah, you're right. So I didn't even know how many, how many? One, got, two, three, four, five, two. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah I guess you're those right. Two for like two months. Yeah, I think this will last us like probably. <laughs> well, and half of them are like white wine and we don't drink. What is this? What are these? Maybe it's there because they're ratchet. They didn't want to keep them. Chili. What kind of wine is it? Mm. Red, some type of red wine? We will have to do a freaking wine tasting soon of all these wines and let you guys know if any of these are good. It's midday, we just finished lunch and we're going to get our Starbucks. Right, Andy? Yeah. Your Starbucks? I'm not having any. I didn't have coffee this morning. I'm going to get one of these midday Starbucks that makes her feel bad after she drinks it. <laughs> no. It's just sometimes it makes me feel shaky at night or like at 5 p.m. when yeah. we get home. But I'm gonna get a banana bread with it so that that doesn't happen. No like caffeine. But I didn't have coffee this morning. I've been trying to like have a little bit less coffee, but I'm craving one now. It's after lunch and it's just like a great time for coffee, you know? Have to pick myself up so we can finish working the rest of the day. May 4th. May the 4th be with no, you. it's uh -huh. May 5th. It's a good amount. Oh, it's May 5th. What is wrong with me? I can't think. It was May 4th yesterday. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. It's Cinco de Mayo. It's May 5th. It's Cinco de Mayo, you guys. Are we gonna have Mexican tonight, Andy? Or as they used to call it, Cinco de Drinko, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a brown sugar shake and oat milk espresso. Those are like, honestly, like I think one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks. But they have to put enough oat milk in it because sometimes they don't put enough oat milk, right? Look at Lucy, he wants a pup cup. I will take one pup cup, please. 
Maybe we should get him one, should we? Uh, are you sure? There's two dogs back there. Yeah, Buckley doesn't need one. Buckley's in her own world. I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing pretty good with that. Okay. 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 Oh, just a heads up, um, I am out of Milan espresso. If we can make it a regular, that's not okay. Let's do that. Okay, it doesn't alter the flavor, so. Cool. And then, um, oh, I'll do a banana uh, bread as well. And a banana bread, are you going to warm that up today? No. No, thank you. Not warmed up? Yeah. I got so scared, Andy. I thought he was going to say we're out of oat milk. Yeah. And I was like, we would have had the skirt on over here at different Starbucks. I don't even know what the difference is. Regular versus blonde. I think blonde maybe just lighter. Oh, I thought you said long espresso. No, blonde. Espresso. Yeah. How do you run out of espresso as a Starbucks? Cool. Thank you. It's filled to the top. Yeah. Pop cups for the dogs? No, they're okay. We'll get pop cups. Yeah. We'll take wow. <laughs> Wow, Andy, that's funny. You guys, you're gonna get pop cups. Dad's being nice today. You gotta get pop cups. We always say no. Who's gonna finish first? Don't get anything on Dad's car. Be clean eaters. <gasps> you guys haven't had a pop cup from Starbucks and I don't even know how long. Oh shit, Buffy. Oh my gosh, best day ever. Andy, look at hers. Let me see, you're a clean eater. Buckley, Thank you have whipped cream all over your nose. What a cluster. Really? Oh yeah. This I is how many limes they had left. <gasps> they had one lime left! I got the very last one. <laughs> Wait, that's the funniest so, thing I've ever heard. I got, I got a bag of these so we could try the key limes. Wait, why are they tiny? What are key limes? They're the same as limes, just a little sweeter. Wait, that's but so I, I funny. Got, I got this, so. Lime juice. Oh, that's funny. They had literally one, and it was in the lemons. So it just. So it was hidden in the lemons. It was hidden in the lemons, yeah. That's really funny. Taking pictures of the tennis shoes. Look at it go. What a stance she's in. Great form. Probably taking fire pictures with different pose. Wow, what form. One might call it iconic. Full arm extension. Tough to beat that. All right, you guys, this is the lineup for Cinco de Mayo. Andy got, ooh, you got cilantro? Lettuce, we're gonna make Crunchwrap Supreme. So he found these massive tortillas. Yeah. You've never had this big tortilla before. Tostada to put in there. These are tiny tostadas. A tomato. What else? We got multiple tomatoes, but that's oh, just one that I pulled One out. tomato. It's so funny, you guys saw in the car that there's only one lime left in the whole freaking mm -hmm. grocery store. That's hilarious, because it's Cinco de Mayo. Chicken, we've been eating a lot of meat, so we wanted to do chicken. In the crunch wraps. A lot of red meat. Refried beans, sour cream, lime juice because we didn't have any limes. And the most important part of Cinco de Mayo is the Don Julio. Crunch wrap in the making. This is gonna be so good. Moment of the crunch wrap. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Done. One golden, two golden, three golden, four. Moosey, you're peeing on Gunner's head. These are David and Haley's dogs, Nelly, Gunner, Moose, Buckley. And they're all cousins and best friends. <laughs> How funny is this? We call them the Golden Corral. <laughs> all right, it's like super late, probably like 11.30 at night, but I'm trying on these dresses from Revolve. It's getting like really close to the wedding, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. But this is the first one. It's really cute. It's similar to like my bridesmaid dress kind of. It's like the high neck. This cut is actually more flattering than I thought it would be. Um, it's like a cowl neck. I think this is from Lovers and Friends. I have to 
look at where it's from, but this is option number one with heels, the back is pretty, and then it has a slit. I have three dresses, but the third dress, I can't find the package, so I'm not sure. It might be in my closet. Dress number two, I don't think I like it. It's like really tight. It's, I don't know. It's just like really tight, and I'm like, it, it's flattering, but I have to like suck in at all moments or else it's not gonna be that cute. <laughs> Here's the third dress, Andy found it. It was on the shoe rack beneath all of our shoes. I think this one might be the winner. I'm not sure between the first one and this one. This one's really cute in the back too. It has like cinching right here and then the slit is like kind of high and it's like literally right in the back, but it's cute and it like allows for you to like move freely versus being trapped in the dress. I think I might like this one the best. It's very comfy. This one's really comfy and the um, first look one was really comfy. The back is like really cute. But it's literally 12.30 at night so we're gonna go to bed. Also I ordered the iconic Hailey Bieber like massive trouser pant. They came back in stock on the website and I got them. They're literally huge, they fit Andy but they're kind of a vibe. It's Friday. I don't know if we filmed anything today at all, but it's like 6 p.m. We are doing some videos of our new style. So we're out here behind a grocery store. These are these water. And we're gonna do some photos and videos of these shoes. I'm wearing, this is a swimsuit top actually. It's, I just got it in from Revolve. It's really cute. And I can double as a top. I think it's Lovers and Friends. These are my custom Alley Grace denim and then our new sneakers. And my sunglasses are also revolved. record anything of us just taking pictures because Andy says the camera was filming the blank wall because I didn't have it angled correctly and this sun is just lovely you can't see us so let's just talk to you guys later once we go we're gonna go get sushi now and then we'll we'll regroup good morning you guys it's Saturday morning um, we didn't film much like at all yesterday after we shot the shoes our camera died so after that we pretty much just got sushi and then sat on the couch and watched Ozark all night <laughs> and then continued to watch Ozark in bed and fell asleep. So Friday was not very eventful, we didn't do much, we didn't have our usual out, we had sushi but we didn't go out to get sushi. Andy left to go golfing this morning like an hour ago, it's around 10, I'm gonna go meet my friend for coffee and then probably head to work since we have a lot to do before we leave for Florida on Wednesday. It could be from dropping it because mine, I got this new one, I'll show you it out there. Yeah, I like that one. It's just kind of hard to- I am back. I just finished coffee with Caitlin. It was so nice to see her and catch up. We haven't seen each other in a little while, but coffee was good. We went to this place called Four Till Four and it's in Scottsdale. We're gonna go to Burdina's, which is like our, our place that we go to all the time when we get coffee. And it was, crazy busy line so went to four till four it's a little bit like down the road from that place it's pretty close to Berdina's, but it was yummy i loved the whole atmosphere it was like an outdoor little seating area and the coffee was good i want to show you guys a few things from revolve like i said i was going to first are these heels which i think you've probably seen before um they're from la Rude. they are mega platform they're also like very, it's like a water droplet, like crystal vibe, and they're so cute. I wore these all last weekend for Haley's wedding, and I didn't really have a problem at all. They're really comfy, so I'd say they're definitely worth the price. So this first top is from L'Academy. I've been eyeing this for like a really long time. 
and I finally got it. It's super cute. I love the color. I think it'll be perfect for Florida this week, with like a pair of shorts or something. Even over a bikini, this would be cute, like a cover up. I love this. Okay, I opened up the window so it would be a little bit brighter. Um, this is the second piece. It's from L'Academy. I love it. It's very like me. I love a little like black crop top or anything cropped for that matter. It's perfect to wear like under a blazer if you get cold during the summer or just like in general with pants. I love this. The next piece is a little corset from LPA. This is like, I'm surprised by this. I almost didn't get it, but I'm really glad I did because it's like really comfy. I think it's probably all cotton. It's like the most comfy corset I've ever worn, I think. So if you're looking for a corset that's like not really a corset, it doesn't like literally squeeze you in so you can't breathe and is like a nice soft material, I recommend this 100%. It's really cute, really flattering. And it feels like I'm wearing like a tank top or like a really comfy t-shirt. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm wearing a corset at all. I actually really love this, wow. I will be wearing this all summer. Okay, next up is this little white tank. It is a little bit see-through, which I don't really mind, but I'm not gonna show it on camera. Um, I would get this in a bunch of different colors. I think they have it in like black, and I'm not sure if there's more than that, but I will probably pick it up in black too, because it's like, you can't go wrong with a tank like this. The neckline is really flattering. I like that it like goes in, and it's like a scalloping little waffle knit tank top material. Perfect for summer, perfect for lounging around in. You guys, I am obsessed with this dress. Holy moly. This is so stunning. I ordered this like literally yesterday or maybe the day before because Rachel's having a beach bonfire the night before her wedding. And this is like the casual, like not casual, but sort of casual like sundress attire. So I thought this would be perfect. And I'm obsessed with the color, wow. It's a little bit wrinkly obviously because it was in the package, but I can steam it and it'll be perfect for the beach. Oh my gosh. This is my dress for Rachel's bridal brunch. I'm not sure yet how I feel about it. I feel like it might be a little bit too revealing for a bridal brunch, but this is an option. I love the orange color. So the theme is orange and pink. And this dress in the back is just so pretty. It's supposed to be a little bit wrinkled like this. And I like the detailing here too. Um, it's in Florida, so I might be able to get away with this since it's gonna be hot. And then just wear like a little um, white heel. But it's super cute. I got these sandals. They're just like Haviana, Haviana, Haviana off Revolve. They're a basic sandal. I don't have any like sandals like this, so I figured I would pick up a nude pair to wear in Florida. And then this bikini, I wore this top yesterday to shoot um, the 112 shoes. And it's so cute. And then here are the bottoms. So all of this stuff is coming with me to Florida. Good morning. We did not film much yesterday at all either. Um, after lunch, I went to our friend's house with Andy. I met him there after they played golf and we just like hung out basically all night and watched the UFC fights and some hockey games and then came home. So it was like a little chill. I just caught this on camera. Watch Andy, he's gonna be like, what? What? Are you dumb? I was talking to the camera and it just fell on me and I caught it on camera. Andy made us some delicious omelets. Look at that. It's like a chef made this. I got you lilies for Lily. Thank you, Andy. Aw, that's so sweet. I guess I'm a dog mom, right? I get to celebrate Mother's Day. No worries. Yes, yeah. I don't know why, but I've been in the weirdest mood today. Just like, bleh. Just feel bleh. There's a lot going on. I think it's all catching up to me. And he said we had a special surprise. I got some barbecue sauce. What is it? There's a lot of sauce. Things. This might give away something. I got some cocktail sauce. <gasps> you got shrimp? Some fresh shrimp. Yay! To eat. Wow, I really wasn't. Is it cooked? Is it ready to yeah, eat? Ready to thaw them out. Oh. And then we got our chicken. We got 
We got the classic, the flats and drums, whatever. Is that flats. organic? <laughs> oh no. And then we got some some nice funky drums. Nice. Oh, those are massive. Yeah. <gasps> uh, maybe we just cook these. Those are huge. Those are like actual like massive drumsticks. <laughs> Too big? Did you realize how big they were yeah, when you bought place, them? Got That's like a literal chicken. Well, I didn't realize it said flats and drums. Oh, yeah. So this is both. It yeah. Flats and yeah, so we just need that. So those we can save when we want to actually have a nice big chicken arm. Yeah. Lucy, you want some chicken wing? So there's probably like 12 in here. We could share that, I guess. Yeah. We got some other. Yeah, I don't eat that many. Too. What else did you get? Um, they looked good, so I got them. A couple lobster tails. What the? Let's go with our shrimp. We're making shrimp, chicken, and lobster tails? Well, they're small. Look wow, we're look. having a gourmet Sunday dinner. Wow, we really did say feast. Chicken wings, lobster, salad, butter for the lobster, some veggies, some shrimp, and Andy's Yum meat. Look at his chicken wings. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. I had to do no sauce because of heartburn. There's just, just my clubs, fortunately, and a towel. Andy, why did the car wash with his golf clubs? No! He forgot he had his golf clubs in his... Yeah, the golf clubs were in the truck bed and I just whipped right through the car wash. <laughs> but... With your nice golf clubs. Well, they're old. Well, yeah, but they're still nice. But they needed to get cleaned, so that was good. That's one way to do it, right? <laughs> Lucy's just chilling. It's Rachel's wedding week. Gosh. What? Got a backup here. Oh, that's so weird. I just said it's Rachel's wedding week, and she texted me. What? Rachel, we're on the same wavelength, Rachel. That's crazy. That is crazy.